This video covers setting up Fusion for a new project and some of the changes that can be made to the interface to accommodate new users. The settings we are changing are going to assist new users to working within Fusion. Let's begin. On opening the Fusion application, choose File, Preferences. Here you will see on the left of the dialog the Globals and New Comp Preferences, and perhaps Composition 1, which is created by default when Fusion is launched based on factory preference settings. We're currently interested in the globals and new comp settings. Open the flow settings. Under force, choose all tile pictures. This will force each node in the flow to show a small thumbnail, which helps you visualize the construction of the composition at the expense of flow real estate. As you become familiar with the flow view, you may wish to alter these settings to just source and mask tile pictures for a compromise between flow readability and real estate. Next, check the full tile render indicators under the options section. This will turn each node of the flow green and shade a progress bar as they render indicating the progress of the overall composition. Next, we need to choose our file format. Generally, you should set this to the format you use most in your facility. If you are typically working in broadcast, then something like HD720 or HD1080 would be appropriate. If you are working on a feature film, something like 2K or 4K full aperture would be good. Again, this will only affect new compositions. Any comps already created or comps loaded from disk will have their own frame format settings. Under the General section, we can choose a few options for however you are most comfortable working. Within the usability area, the first of the bottom two choices offers the ability to alter all sequence start frame numbers displayed in Fusion to 0, 1, or sequence start. The second offers the ability to change which scale color information is displayed, either as a float value between 0 and 1, or as an integer 8-bit value between 0 and 255 or as an integer value between 0 and 65,535. The next option alters the behavior of the text entry boxes within Fusion after entering a value by pressing Enter. By selecting or deselecting Auto Control Advance, you can choose if Fusion will move the cursor from a control field to the next in tool control field, or reselect the last edited field. If you disable this preference, you can still select the next control field in a tool by hitting Tab. Try adjusting this preference as you work to see which you are more comfortable with. Lastly, for the preferences, the autosave options can be adjusted. Enabling the autosave and save before render options will add a level of security to your work. Setting the autosave time to less than 10 minutes can increase the level of security for working with a comp, but on larger projects, the time to save a comp can compete with the frequency that the autosave occurs. For now, let's alter this value to 5 minutes and we can save the preferences. One last section new users may wish to alter is the toolbars that bound the views on either the left or right when certain tools are highlighted. These tools generally have several options for masking and paint nodes. It can be difficult to comprehend the icon's functions. By opening one of these tools, such as the polygon mask, we can set the toolbar to display the text and icons, or text only. This makes it easier to understand the function of each item as you learn the application. By right-clicking in a view to call the context menu, and selecting Settings, Save Defaults, all subsequent new comps will use the text and icon or text only setting. Follow this procedure in the future to revert back to icons only. These operations should help you begin learning Fusion and producing your first projects. As always, for the most up-to-date descriptions and details on Fusion, visit manual.vfxpedia.com.